after warming up 100 meters up from the start getting ready there's the british pair of deborah kerr and emma russell fifth in the world recently can they get a little bit closer hungary always a powerhouse they were though disappointing in canada but this is a different partnership so just to reiterate the recent results poland the world champions germany who uh, were in canada they took the silver belgium took the bronze medals and there's the german uh, racers uh, paulina paschek and yul haik as we uh, begin to line up now for this final Right on the far side, Sweden, furthest away from you. Great Britain, too, from the top of your picture. Then Hungary and Poland. Watch out for Karolina Naya and Anna Pulowska, the world champions. They're a star act in this particular boat class. Slovakia right next to them. Then Germany in six. Three from the bottom of your picture. Belgium, Hermie and Peters and Lisa Brooks. They're improving. And away we go. France and Serbia, closest to you. Yeah, this will be really interesting. The poles, red and white boat there. You can see them already in lane four leading. I think a lot of these paddlers are racing for the silver medal. The Polish crew, who have such a great relationship, they understand each other so well. They paddle in perfect unison. They're going to be very, very difficult to beat. Paulina Pasek and Julie Haig there, but it is the Polish uh, duo, 149 05 to win their heat, but they are being uh, already uh, challenged as the uh, Belgians come forward here, Hermie and Peters and Lisa Brooks. Yeah, as we see, we'll get towards the halfway point. We should see that the, perhaps the poles just in front. The Belgians got away to a good start, and they're paddling very, very well at the moment. Of course, Hermie and Peter saw her brother win a medal just a few moments ago in the K1000. That will have given her confidence. British crew up in lane two. We know they've got a good finish. They've got to stay with it in this middle section if they're going to have a chance of a medal. Yeah, it's the economy of the paddling stroke of the Polish uh, who are doing so well, but the Belgians right up there. Watch out for the German boat, the uh, predominantly uh, pink kayak there, vying certainly for a bronze medal, maybe something better if they can find a little bit more. They're in uh, just about uh, third place at the moment, and it is uh, Hungary who are vying at the moment with Germany for arguably the bronze medal. But it's Belgium at the moment trying to take on Poland. Poland by half a kayak length, perhaps three quarters of a length, and they've just moved up the gears now. Poland coming through to the line. Belgium in second place. Germany take the bronze, and uh, that's the way it finishes. But Poland, well, pretty well gone to tape. They led all the way. They're the pre-race favourites. They are the crew that recently won the world title, runners-up in Europe a year ago, but now a step higher, and they are the champions. Well done to Germany. They got the bronze, the best of the rest, and uh, accelerated when it mattered most. Yeah, good performance from the Polish there. Not quite as dominant as they were a couple of weeks ago at the World Championships, but they were they had something if they needed it, and they did, and the Belgians put them under pressure through the middle part of that race. But the Poles, they had a lower stroke rate, and they were able to pick it up that little bit more when they were put under pressure and just pull away from the rest of the field, which showed their quality and their ability to hold their pace right the way through to the end of the race. Really impressed with the Belgians, though. Really, really impressed. Growing in confidence. Look very good. Work well together, uh, the two Belgians. They've got a bit of work to do to match the Poles, but they really tried this time. They, they put themselves at risk by going out hard early, but they had the confidence to hold on. And the Poles will be just slightly looking over the shoulder, thinking they were put under a little bit more pressure than maybe they might have expected. But remember, a year ago, they had to settle for silver. They were behind the great Danuta Kozak and Dora Bonioni of uh, Hungary and that was a very smart partnership indeed so uh, they've realized another dream taking a European title and well done to uh, the Belgians another boost for Herbie and Peters and uh, Lisa Brooks
So real happy pictures there. Confirmation, Hungary in fourth place, then Sweden, France, United Kingdom ended up in seventh place. But Poland, Belgium, and Germany, the one, two, three, 141.41, not as quick as yesterday.